channel. Today I am going to be doing a highly requested video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine. So many people have requested this and I am finally doing it. I did a long time ago do a get on ready with me type video. If you guys want to check that out I will link it right up here and down in the description box so you guys can check out what I used to do. So today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine that I do every night. Now this is what my skin looks like. I don't have any makeup on. I actually have my skincare routine on my face right now so I will insert clips as I talk about the products for you guys. But as you can see I have a lot of dark Spots. My face had a really bad breakout a couple months ago and this whole side of my face was just pimples and when I get breakouts I get dark spots afterwards. My skin for the most part is smooth but I just have dark spots from where the acne was or post acne scarring. I'm going to show you how you can look like a greased chicken just like me and how I treat my post acne scarring as well as treat my acne and this skincare routine has been working really well for me lately. It's really been helping my skin. It's been keeping my acne at bay and I've noticed a difference in my post acne scarring as well. It has diminished the look of my acne marks. So enough jabbering. I am going to jump right into my skincare routine and I'm going to start off with what I use to take off my makeup. So what I do to get all of my makeup off my skin and make it easier for the cleansing process is I will start by using my Trader Joe's 100% pure jojoba oil. So with this I will put a squirt on each section of my face and I will just massage it in. I just massage the makeup right off of my face. This stuff works amazing for just loosening up all of that makeup. It really makes it easy for the cleansing process. This oil makes it really easy to get my makeup off. It loosens up all of the products. It makes it easy to get false lashes off. It makes it easy to get eyeshadow off. If you have stubborn mascara, it makes it great. Just rub that on your eye and it loosens that up as well. This stuff is just amazing. I'm really glad that I started using oil in the beginning of my skincare routine because it just makes removing my makeup that much easier. Once I have massaged the oil into my face, then I will take my Kirkland brand makeup wipes and I will remove all of the oil and the makeup off of my face. These makeup wipes are the best makeup wipes I have ever used and you can buy them in bulk at Costco, which I really appreciate. <laughs> I believe you get six of these full size makeup wipes and then you get two travel size in the box from Costco. So it's really cost effective if you use a lot of makeup wipes. And if you don't wanna go out and purchase makeup wipes, you can always use a warm, damp washcloth and just wipe the oil and the makeup off that way. But I prefer something that's disposable and I don't have to continue washing my washcloths all the time. So these come in really handy and I love these. Once that is finished, I will go in with my Garnier Skin Active Marcellar Cleansing Water. This stuff is amazing. It changed my life once I purchased it and I'm really glad that I purchased it. It's all in one, it removes makeup, even waterproof mascara, cleanses and refreshes. And you would be surprised that once I use the oil and a face wipe, how much makeup is still on my face. I will use three to four cotton rounds of this all over my face and I will still have residue for my makeup on my face. So this is really good at getting my face super, super clean. Once I'm finished with that, I will cleanse using the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover Cleanser. This is a thicker cleanser, so I will use it with the Trader Joe's face wash with tea tree oil, and this is really good if you have blemish prone skin. So I like mixing these two together. This thins this out a little bit more and I will massage the combination of these two on my face when my face does not have any water on it. I will just massage this into my face in circular motions and I will do that for about a minute or so and then once that is done I will add water and massage for another 30 seconds to a minute and then once that is done I will rinse it all off. And that really, really removes my makeup. And then once I am done with that, I will go back in with my Garnier Skin Active Marcellar Water and I will 
cleanse with one final cotton round. And as you can see, it really cleanses all of the makeup off of my face. I don't have any residue left on my face, which is so amazing, and it makes me really feel like my skin is getting a deep clean. I am going to go in and use my retinol. This is the Super Retinol Advanced Anti-Aging Serum. It is 2.5% retinol plus hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and organic aloe. And I bought this on Amazon. It was on sale. So I think I bought it for like $15 or something like that. This stuff is really good. It does dry your skin out. So I use it every three days or so or every other day depending on my skin, but this really has helped with the texture of my skin and it has really helped fade um, my smile lines. Once it's dry, I go in with my moisturizer and the moisturizer I have been using every day religiously has been the Egyptian Magic Moisturizer. Now I bought this at Costco as well. I bought it in a pack of three, so it was more cost effective. And this stuff, it's just a, waxy, creamy consistency. And what you do is you take a dollop and then you just massage it in your palms and it turns into an oil and then you just put it on your face. And this really helps moisturize my skin. My skin has been crazy dry lately, especially when I use the retinol, I make sure to apply this on top. And it has just helped with the overall appearance of my skin and it's just really helped keep my skin hydrated which in the winter time and it's so dry it's really hard for my skin to be hydrated and I had been noticing my skin being crazy dried out so this has really helped the next thing I want to talk about is a eye cream during the day my under eye bags were just getting really really bad so I was like I needed to try a eye cream so I decided to try the Oz Naturals this is the Ultra Ageless Eye Cream. I was really excited to try this because it's 99% natural and it's cruelty free. So I was like, okay, I love keeping everything on my face as natural as possible. Let's give it a try. And I've really been liking this stuff. I noticed that when I apply my concealer and I apply my powder, my under eye area isn't as wrinkly and it's not as creasy and my foundation goes on a lot easier underneath my eyes and my concealer goes on a lot easier underneath my eyes and my eyes are more hydrated and smooth, I've noticed. So if you guys are looking for a good eye cream, I highly recommend this. I've been loving this one. Once my eye cream is applied, I am going to apply my pimple cream. The pimple cream that I've been liking so much lately is this clean and clear Persa Gel 10. It's 10% 10 benzoyl peroxide acne medication, maximum strength. And what I do is I just take this and I apply it in any areas where I've been having breakouts or I know that I'm going to break out. It's been working really well so far. It really does help my acne and keep my pimples from popping. If you've got pimples and you need a pimple cream, I highly recommend this one. It's great. And that is it for my skincare routine. I know you guys have really been waiting to see this video, so I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and let me know you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Don't forget to comment any requests and any thoughts down in the comments section. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.